massive protests have erupted across Israel after the bodies of six hostages held by Hamas in Gaza were found dead. The discovery has intensified public outrage, with tens of thousands of Israelis demanding a ceasefire and the resignation of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, whom many blame for failing to secure the release of hostages. The protests have been widespread, with Israel's largest labor union calling for a general strike. The situation reflects growing frustration over the ongoing conflict and the government's handling of the crisis. However, the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas, alongside the potential for escalation involving Hezbollah, presents a highly complex and dangerous situation. Since the October 7th attacks, Israel has intensified its military actions in Gaza, reportedly dropping around 70,000 tons of bombs. This immense bombardment on such a small area has caused significant devastation and civilian suffering. For the seven challenges for Israel moving forward with this conflict are the followings. Number one, ceasefire challenges. The possibility of a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas seems remote due to mutual distrust and incompatible demands. Hamas insists on a permanent ceasefire and the withdrawal of Israeli forces from Gaza, conditions that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is unlikely to accept. Netanyahu's administration aims to decisively defeat Hamas, a goal far from being realized. This stalemate creates a significant barrier to any meaningful ceasefire agreement. Hamas, for its part, views any temporary ceasefire as an opportunity for Israel to regroup and continue its military campaign. They demand a long-term solution that addresses the root causes of the conflict, including the blockade of Gaza, and the broader Israeli-Palestinian dispute. On the other hand, Israel perceives Hamas as a perpetual threat that cannot be negotiated with as long as they refuse to recognize Israel's right to exist. Number two, political maneuvering. President Joe Biden is keen on brokering peace in Gaza, but faces significant limitations. The U.S. administration's support for Israel is strong, and any substantial pressure on Israel could have political repercussions domestically, especially with elections on the horizon. Netanyahu, however, sometimes indicates a willingness to accept peace proposals, only to rely on his far-right allies to justify not following through, thus avoiding internal political fallout. Netanyahu's political strategy often involves a balancing act, placating his right-wing base while maintaining international support. He navigates this by signaling a readiness to consider peace initiatives, knowing that the more extreme factions within his government will resist any substantial concessions. This allows him to appear open to negotiations without making significant changes to his policies. Number 3. Northern Front and Hezbollah The situation in northern Israel is also dire, with Hezbollah significantly increasing its missile and rocket attacks. These attacks have caused extensive damage, including fires in northern Israel, leading to the evacuation of over 60,000 Israeli citizens to central Israel. The fear of returning to their homes only to face renewed attacks adds to the instability. Benny Gantz, a prominent Israeli political figure, has promised these evacuees a safe return by September 1st, but how this will be achieved remains unclear especially if the conflict in Gaza continues. Hezbollah's capabilities have grown substantially, and its arsenal includes precision-guided missiles capable of striking deep into Israeli territory. This development poses a severe strategic threat to Israel, which must now consider the possibility of a two-front war involving both Gaza and Lebanon. The Israeli government has to weigh its military responses carefully to avoid overextending its forces and exacerbating the situation. Number four strategic concerns. Both Gaza and northern Israel present significant strategic challenges for Israel. The threat from Hezbollah, which has approximately 150,000 rockets and missiles, many of which are accurate, complicates the situation. Israeli military efforts have not been able to eliminate these threats effectively, and the ongoing conflict with Hamas drains resources and attention. The Israeli Defense Forces, IDF, face the difficult task of balancing immediate military objectives with long-term strategic goals. The continuous state of alert and frequent mobilizations strain the military and the broader society. Israel's strategy of deterrence is being tested, as prolonged conflicts without clear victories can erode public confidence and military morale. Number 5. U.S. Involvement The United States is unlikely to become directly involved in ground combat but might offer limited support through air or naval forces if a full-scale war with Hezbollah ensues. However, the scenario most concerning is a potential war with Iran. The U.S. has previously coordinated with Iran to limit conflicts, highlighting a mutual desire to avoid direct confrontation. Nevertheless, Iran's support for groups like Hezbollah and Hamas continues to exacerbate the situation. 
American involvement would likely be limited to intelligence sharing, logistical support, and perhaps defensive measures such as missile defense systems. Direct military engagement remains a last resort, given the complexities and potential for escalation. The U.S. aims to maintain stability in the region while avoiding another protracted conflict. Number 6. Internal Israeli Politics Inside Israel, political and military dynamics are fraught with tension. There is significant dissatisfaction within the Israeli military regarding the current political leadership. The strained relationship between the IDF and Netanyahu, along with the refusal of some reservists to serve, underscores the internal challenges Israel faces. Netanyahu's leadership style and policies have polarized Israeli society. His approach to security and his handling of the judiciary and democratic institutions have sparked widespread protests and dissent. This internal discord complicates Israel's ability to present a unified front against external threats. Number 7. Future Outlook Israel's strategic position is increasingly not securely held. The multiplicity of threats from Hamas, Hezbollah, and potentially Iran, along with internal political and societal divisions, creates a volatile situation. The idea of decisively defeating these adversaries seems increasingly unrealistic. As Iran potentially develops nuclear capabilities and with continued missile advancements by groups like the Houthis, Israel's security landscape is set to become even more challenging. The broader regional dynamics also play a crucial role. The Abraham Accords, which normalized relations between Israel and several Arab states, have not fundamentally altered the threat landscape. While they provide some diplomatic support, they do not address the core security challenges posed by non-state actors and regional rivals like Iran. The complexities of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, compounded by the threats from Hezbollah and Iran, create a highly unstable and dangerous situation. The potential for a wider regional conflict remains, but the catastrophic consequences of such an escalation, particularly in a nuclear-armed world, may ultimately act as a deterrent to a full-scale war. However, the immediate future remains uncertain, with significant challenges ahead for all parties involved. Israel must navigate a treacherous path, balancing military responses with diplomatic efforts and addressing internal divisions to maintain its security and stability. The international community, particularly the United States, plays a pivotal role in mediating and supporting efforts to prevent further escalation and find a sustainable path to peace. What do you think about the Middle East conflict? Do you think it can drag into a global war? Thank you for making it this far. If you like this video, you might want to share it with a like-minded friend. Thank you and as always, stay blessed.